How's it going, Magpies? Magpie Leon here, here today with a very special guest. How are you doing? Hey, man. Thanks for having me on the show. Appreciate it. And I'm doing well. It has been a crazy, crazy day and excited to talk some Halo with you. Awesome. So, yeah, today we've got Danny GG here. Um, that, that's very big for me. This is really cool. This is the first time I've actually collabed with someone on a video. <laughs> so that's pretty awesome. Today we're just going to be talking about sort of uh, we'll vaguely, we'll briefly go over E3 and then mostly just talk about everything that we saw uh, with Halo and just first predictions. Nothing super in depth, just sort of first impressions we got from it. So I guess I'll just open up with uh, asking you, what did you think of the E3 presentation overall? Uh, I thought it was great. Definitely the best presentation from Xbox that I can remember in, in many years. Um, the Halo stuff was great. Would have liked a little bit more, but it looks like we're getting some more tomorrow, which is going to be awesome. And um, honestly, I was blown away. I, I was just rewatching my reaction video and like, I guess I didn't realize how hyped I actually was in the moment. Yeah. Um, but it was awesome and definitely it's been a good day. So how about you? <laughs> I definitely, I definitely think it's been a big step up over the past couple. I. It was a bit disappointing that for a lot of games showing off, there wasn't really much gameplay, which I found really strange. But at the same time, I do understand it. Like a lot of these games probably just aren't in that sort of stage yet where they can show develop it like the the gameplay. But I mean, Halo obviously massive for me. I don't actually think I could physically shut my mouth during the entire time it was on the <laughs> screen. I was literally in awe. Um, but seeing Outer Worlds two was a big one for me as well because I absolutely love that game. Um, yeah, I mean, seeing more Back for Blood was cool and all that sort of stuff. There was definitely some was really cool, cool yeah. stuff there. Overall, I mean, yeah, I, th I thought it was great. Big step up over the past couple of shows they've done, but I do wish there could have been a bit more. Like certain things that were there, did they really need to spend that much time on them? Like, did they really mm -hmm. feel the need to mention Skyrim? <laughs> like, it, I know I, the Elder Scrolls Online. They spent like five minutes on that. I yeah, was like, like, okay, okay. I understand. In Fallout, have, I I understand they do have a player base. But, like, if you're going to be talking about stuff, can it be, like, at least new games, not necessarily just DLC? But I do get why they did it. They had to fill some time up. I just wish that could have been spent more so on Halo. But, yeah, I guess I moving on to Halo, I mean, that entire reveal, I just think was great. The little bit, the glimpse we saw of the story just has you asking so many questions. It was done so well. And yeah. seeing, like, Chief go through all the, like, the rubble and space and stuff, it was just so cool. And then the multiplayer reveal, it looks so good. It was literally everything I wanted. Uh, I mean, I was watching your video about it that you mentioned with the uh, the new armor ability things they had. Um, oh, yeah. And, yeah. like, I mean, I, I actually didn't notice that he reflected the plasma pistol shot first. I thought it was just a gadget that fires an EMP out of it. And then no. I'd, like... I mean, I didn't even realize at first watching it that there was no red versus blue. It did not yeah. cross me. Um, There's, there was so much going on, and yeah, I had to make sure to watch it. And then they posted the blog post afterwards, yeah, which I saw that. like reaffirmed lots of those things. And they even gave some names um, that like the little reflection thing he used. They called it uh, repulsor. So I guess oh. you can, if you time it right, it'll block you know maybe bullets or obviously. The plasma pistol shot See, I hope but it looked really cool something like that has the potential to be really broken unless it's fine-tuned probably like yeah. if if people can reflect my like rocket launch with that then i'll be very angry <laughs> yeah i know uh, uh, hopefully so that's not just, the case i think if it, they leave it to just energy-based weapons because they obviously ages ago they mentioned the whole different weapon types like different uh, like how you've got the the energy ammo and then like all the other stuff they mentioned so hopefully it's only where it reflects certain types um, yeah, that makes I find sense. It, I find the the lack of red versus blue really it's it's weird. I don't think it's bad, but I think it's weird. It'll take some getting used to for sure in the context of Halo. Um, but honestly, I think for more player customization and individualization, it is a step in the right direction. Um, just some of those multiplayer Spartans we've seen today, like they're extremely detailed and yeah. if you like to be like orange or purple or whatever now you can do that and there's nothing stopping you so one thing that i think was cool in the blog post as well is they did mention that there's going to be a huge variety of ways to unlock the stuff which was one thing i was worried about because i know they mentioned ages ago that you unlock customization through the campaign 
but I was worried that it was going to be sort of just everything else was going to be locked behind like a battle pass or a paywall or something along those lines so uh, sort of being reassured that we can unlock it a variety of different ways is very like I think that's really cool um, it definitely like sort of keep the player base high I think yeah for sure and I'm sure they'll have some items uh, that are exclusive like I don't know if you buy the Oreos or whatever like yeah, you get the yeah. Oreo skin oh, but yeah. but the actual cool stuff hopefully will be fully unlockable in game and through multiple ways like they said although although they've been very controversial I'm, I'm very intrigued to sort of see more about the armor coatings i've already got like a bunch from some of the the product promotions <laughs> like i want to i want to actually see what my nerf skin looks like in game or like the funko pop one and stuff i'd like I, I think yeah it's, i've got once again very mixed opinion about it because i think it's it has potential as long as they've done it right um, I mean, if I have to pay like a, a, a fiver for the for the color green, <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna be yeah, a little that, upset. Yeah, that would suck. <laughs> I mean, just the gameplay and everything—it just it looked insane. Uh, some of the armors looked great. Uh, I do think a lot of them. I mean, I've obviously messaged you about that, but it looks like some of them were three four three designs that have been redone. Um, yeah. I think one of them looked like Atlas, and then there was one that looked like Aviator and Soldier. Yep. In fact, there was the the picture that shows the armors. It looks like the three on the right were all three four three designs, and the ones on the left, like Halo Four, Halo Five, three four three designs, and the ones on the left aren't it? Like the middle and the left as sort of mm -hmm. your newer ones. I mean, three of them were the Mark Seven, but <laughs> overall they seem to be the newer armors. Yeah, yeah, it's crazy. Like I didn't see a single armor set in any screenshots or um the trailer that like i thought looked bad well like obviously in halo 5 over 200 armor sets most of them i think look like total garbage but um yeah i mean there, there's a handful there's 20 really nice ones in halo 5 but percentage wise uh, but here they're really they're nailing it like you said even the ones that they reworked they just reworked them in a way that now it, it makes sense like they weren't far off to begin with but now they're just they're just right i don't know i don't know how to describe it no i got what you mean uh, i mean like you can even see the mark 5 armor and it was in like noble 6s variants of the mark 5 and all that sort of stuff in the trailer yeah. and like odst armor you have to you have to like look very carefully but you can see a lot of other armors in their in their trailer that they clearly like didn't focus on i mean that samurai one looked sick yeah, that was awesome. But I imagine that's going to be a Helio Skrill situation where it's like, oh, by the way, did you know to get that armor, you had to actually complete Halo 5 on uh, that, so... Oh, no, <laughs> no I, I, maybe it might be like an, a new Hayabusa type thing. Yeah, I hope so. From like a... Yeah. I mean, I, I maybe, really yeah. hope that we have our sort of, oh, complete the campaign on Halo Infinite to unlock this armor and then complete it on this difficulty to unlock this armor, which then adds a lot of replay by it, replayability value to the campaign anyway. Absolutely. Uh, but, I mean, even, like, the vehicles, seeing some of the banished vehicles, because I think what a lot of people were worried about when they saw the Mega Construct sets announced, that they were essentially going to be all the Covenant ones, but red with an extra little bit of armor plating, but it's nice to see them look so unique. Yeah, like, they do look really they, nice. They, they look a lot more uh, savage and heavy. Yeah. I, I mean... And, uh... Yeah, go ahead. Uh, with, like, the armor plating and stuff. Because, obviously, we know that you can supposedly shoot the wheels off the Warthog and stuff like that. So, it'd be really cool if you can actually knock off the armor plating on the vehicle. Since we know you can, like, damage each piece of armor on enemies as well. So, I think that'd be something that's really cool. And maybe create a yeah. weak point. Yeah. No, that'd be awesome. And I actually made a video about that exact topic. Like, exposing a part of a vehicle to have, like, weak point And then, like, a single sniper round could completely destroy it yeah uh, which would be really really neat i think uh, but also did you notice that there were no traditional purple covenant vehicles we only saw yeah, a yeah. red banished ghost and a red uh, banshee I, I guarantee there'll be a covenant armor weapon and vehicle coating there'll be one oh, yeah, which makes sure. them all covenant uh, colors which would be cool um see still on the topic of vehicles as well the scorpion although it was only in it for like two frames it it looks like the scorpion again because halo 5 it, it just looked like a very generic sci-fi tank whereas mm. now in infinite it, it's got that scorpion silhouette again it looks like the scorpion again, which i think it looks like uh the halo 2 anniversary like yeah. campaign edition of the scorpion yeah. which is probably the best one 
Um, <laughs> but no, that that looked great. Some of the weapons, like the skewer, I wasn't like. I get it's supposed to be this anti uh, anti vehicle. I wasn't expecting it to be so big. Like that gun's like huge. Yeah. No, it looks like it's it goes uh on over the shoulder, like a Spartan laser kind of. Yeah. Or is that yeah. just me? Uh, yeah, it was over yeah. The, uh, pretty sure it was over the shoulder. Um, but to be fair, that looks like it's sort of going to be the the banished equivalent of a Spartan laser, with it being able to sort of take out vehicles in like a singular shot. Mm -hmm. it, like it, I'm pretty sure it either took down the banshee or it took down the wasp the wasp being another cool one i'm glad to see that come back i hope it isn't i hope it's a bit more useful than it was in halo 5 because in halo 5 yeah. it really isn't that great it's kind of kind of weak it's yeah. just it just exists it it's, you never really have a use for it yeah it only it it's sting was pretty lame if you want to yeah, yeah. <laughs> um i think i saw as well on uh, on twitter someone posted a picture that you can actually briefly see that new vehicle they announced in the background it's like the new warthog type one. Oh, the razorback yeah and it had people sitting in the the passenger seats in the back i saw like that you couldn't that, think that of looks warthogs. awesome yeah like that that's you you're gonna be like your big squad vehicle uh i find it funny that when in the gameplay showcase obviously they were playing the objective whereas we know realistically on capture the flag no one's going to be playing the objective <laughs> But the maps overall, all of them look pretty solid. I'm interested to see that one that's like, it was like a little, uh, little village one. It was like sort of village -esque. It looked like the, the streets of New Mombasa. I, did I pronounce that right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it looked, like, it looked like that, and I think that's pretty cool. Because um, we haven't really seen too many maps like that. They're usually almost always some form of like forerunner um, structure. So it's nice to see a bit of diversity in the levels properly. I know we did get a couple in Halo Five, but Halo Five's map, like multiplayer maps overall. Did you see uh, that one that was kind of like it was called like a training complex or something? And on the wall it said yeah, it says, uh, Avery Johnson, Johnson yeah. Military Training That's, Complex. I, I was like, oh, that was really oh. cool. Yeah, I mean, that like <laughs> subtle reference to it. I mean, one I think one main takeaway from the multiplayer reveal as well is that new character. Um, the yeah, one that sort of seems commander. like she's filling the role of Commander Palmer. Pal she looks like Palmer, she's filling yeah. her role. Um, <laughs> which would be interesting to see, like, have they introduced her because something's happened to Palmer in the game? Or, like, it, it, she's just a new character for the sake of having a new character? Maybe, because no one likes Palmer. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I wouldn't mind if Palmer died in Infinite. <laughs> Lock, Lock's treated a bit too harsh. Like, Palmer, on the other hand, <laughs> she's just... Like, I've been playing a lot of Halo 5 at the minute, mm -hmm. and I just, I, I play Warzone, I play Warzone, I don't know why, I play Warzone, but I just miss the regular announcer whenever I'm on it, because I'm sick of hearing Palmer tell me that the enemy is, like, wiping out my team, like, I get it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I wish that uh, the regular announcer was in Warzone too. that yeah. always bothered me that it was Palmer, and she, she just seemed kind of whiny, like, you're losing the base, and I'm like, okay, okay. One thing I think but. you mentioned, uh, I think it was in the blog, is that we're actually going to get a variety of different announcers. Like, that we're actually technically having our own personal AI. Uh, and that's what, like, the yes. female announcer's voice was, I think. Yeah, uh, exactly. Which, that's that's going to be pretty cool. Because uh, I think even that just adds to customization. I mean, with the customization, the fact that it's you can change your gloves and stuff like that, like, it's it's even more advanced than Reaches, which I think is insane. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, it looks awesome. But yeah, I think overall, like all the multiplayer stuff was great, and even the brief snippet, like say to Halo, looks gorgeous. <laughs> it looks phenomenal. Yeah, it, it was awesome. Even though they only showed us, I guess it was like twenty was like, seconds of update. It was like, like five seconds of the yeah. like. But you can just see how much has improved. See, I think the reason they didn't show that much off is either a they plan to do a camp like a story mode presentation like they're doing a multiplayer one tomorrow they might be doing a, a story one or b they just don't want any sort of backlash like they did with when they showed it off originally because a lot of people will complain over literally anything <laughs> yeah like i've already seen some people complain about this it hasn't been that bad but some people have complained about like the most minor of details um the only complaint i saw is that it wasn't quote actual gameplay which yeah, it definitely it, was it, definitely it was, was just flying floating camera yeah um i mean with the like the campaign one as well 
I, I saw I saw something I was scrolling down at Facebook and someone posted a picture of Cortana 2.0 and said oh are they, yeah. are they retconning are they Halo 5 story no. then and it's like did you actually you watch <laughs> did you actually watch it or have you just found screenshots on the internet because they literally sort of went over this it's not been retconned at all that, <laughs> it's just stupid yeah but I'm very intrigued to see uh, where that goes because part of me is kind of annoyed that there's a new AI, but I get it. But the only reason I was a little bit annoyed is because I was really looking forward to the pilot to sort of fill that role. Because I yeah. thought he was going to be that sort of character throughout the game, and he was going to be the one that sort of uh, gives Chief a bit more humanity. But it's possible exactly. that maybe half of that's at the beginning of the game, and half of it's later on. So like maybe you're introduced to this AI later on, and the pilot's there with you for the first half of the game, or something along those lines. Exactly. Um, but then, like, another thing that I just quickly won't comment on, I really hope that goes to the scatter shot. <laughs> the one that Spartan uses yes, the scatter walls. Yes. Because it wouldn't make sense to introduce another weapon that has that gimmick. So I think the only one that makes sense for it to be is the scatter shot. And it would be cool if it's no longer a shotgun because we've got. We've got the, uh, is it the Mangler? The new shotgun pistol thing? Is it called the Mangler? Or the Rav Ravager? Um, something like that? I don't know if the Mang Mangler is, I think, just kind of like a heavy revolver. Yeah, um, I can't think the new called. shotgun is the bulldog. There's the bulldog, but then there's the like the brute shotgun one. Brute uh, shotgun. Yeah, like it. I mean, it was it looked like a sort of shotgun pistol that they showed in the original campaign demo. Shotgun. I'm, I don't know. I'm the the uh, ravager. It kind of ravager. shot like red. The, yeah, yeah. Blobby thing. That sort of looked uh, very okay. shotgun esque. I got you. Yeah, kind of close range. Um, but. Yeah, like, we, we don't, I mean, and chances are, considering the backlash, they will probably bring the classic shotgun back down the line. Like, I doubt it'll be there on launch, but I do think it'll be something we get eventually, so we don't really need the scatter shot to be a shotgun as well. It, it makes more yeah. sense for it to sort of fill a different role in the sandbox. And so far, everything we've seen, it does seem to fill a unique role. Like, I mean, just stuff like the grappling hook, it doesn't look broken, which I think some people were worried about with it being in the multiplayer. Um, it looks like it's going to be completely balanced. Yeah, no, it, it looked pretty balanced. It, definitely going to be a map pickup, and um, I think it's going to be really unique in how they do the equipment. And you know, no base abilities. It's just, it's just like another power weapon, which is yeah. really cool. And then I think one final uh, sort of note to touch on is the fact that they confirmed we're getting bots for custom games. That's actually really yes. cool. Yes. Um, it's been a long time coming. Like uh, a lot of games have already done that, but it's good to finally see Halo do it. Um, it kind of, kind of, it was something that I wish was there in Halo Five because I think that would have made custom games on that a lot more fun. But it's something I'm glad we're finally getting um, because yeah. I just think overall it'll make custom games so much better. And I hope when when you have that like one match where half your team leaves on big team battle hopefully it'll fill their slots with bots so you're not actually fighting on your own because i'd rather fight with half a team of bots than only half a team of players yeah so I, i'm I very totally excited to see how that works absolutely but, uh, all right any, i gotta any closing oh, notes you want to you want to sort of give no i i think we hit a lot i'm really excited to see what we um uh, get tomorrow but yeah. I really appreciate you inviting me onto your channel, and I'm, I'm honored to be your first collaboration. And I think you got a lot of great ideas. So uh, it's, it's been so. fun, man. I'll uh, yeah, uh, go go check out Danny's channel if you haven't. Um, he's he's make some pretty poggers videos. <laughs> Thanks, man. I appreciate it. But uh, definitely keep up the good work, and I'm excited to see what kind of stuff you make. That smash stage you made was totally awesome. Thank you, man. Um, I, I appreciate that. Uh, yeah, that was awesome. And hoping when is uh, Nintendo? Are they going tomorrow yeah, so or it's Tuesday? Uh, Tuesday. All right, Tuesday. maybe we'll see. Maybe we'll see Master Chief and Smash. Oh, man, mate. I mean, I'd, I'd go nuts. A man can dream. <laughs> uh, yeah. Anyway, it's been fun. Thank you for coming on. I really appreciate it. For sure, man. Appreciate it. Thank you.